Okay, so I've asked this question, and there was a quote from The Course in Miracles about if a brother brings, something like along the lines of if a brother brings up pain or anger, that's the anger of pain in you, and they're just a mirror of that. Um, and also about, you know, how to set boundaries or how to say no in certain contexts. Um, this is a great question, and uh, one that uh, is really important for, and especially around The Course in Miracles, because uh, it can seem like, uh, you know, you, you, you know if I, see, I see Christ in everyone, they're my holy brother, I trust my brother as if they're, you know, as if they're, they're my brother. So a lot of this stuff, uh, and so does that mean, uh, does that mean uh, if my brother is an axe murdering criminal and, uh, and likes stealing money, that I sort of I sort of am nice to him all the time, uh, and just work on my own stuff. And actually, Hawkins talked about this and made it really think. I mean, yes, I mean we do get to a place where we love everyone, but it doesn't mean our actions towards them um, vary, dependent on the context of the situation. And sometimes it is to be, I used to say no, and sometimes it is to love from a distance. Uh, and to process things from a distance, to get to a place of love and don't have any contact with them. Or sometimes it will be to um, speak with great, you know, great firmness that their behaviour is not appropriate. Uh, so how do you tell the difference? Uh, and in, if, you, if you can muscle test, that's usually a very good quick way. Like, uh, you know, uh, course, I've read my course lesson, trust my brother and love him as, my, as myself, see Christ in him, but my, uh, check, it, check it with my muscles and it's like weak, and my intuition is to avoid him. Uh, so what do you do? Uh, well, uh, Hawkins Hook, said this, you know, people who are not integrous, who are below integrity, those would be people, if you can do muscle testing, you go weak, or if you're capable of intuition, what is intuition? Intuition is not from your ego. It's like when you haven't sufficiently cleared your ego, there is a connection to intuition, which is your connection to the divine, omniscience. There's a source of information that knows absolutely everything in the universe. And when your head quietens down, you, you can get a connection to it, an intuitive reading that tells you information that doesn't come from your ego. And so it, sometimes the intuition is like, stay away from this person, or also, I mean, Hawkins said, like, with people, the language of people below integrity is the same, is different to those above integrity. There's a very big marker. Those below integrity, their nature is selfish and to take. And uh, they, see we, they, see, um, uh, they see people who are loving and soft and, uh, as being stupid, naive people. Uh, and, and so that, and that's their view of the world. That's how they see the world. And obviously the more into their ego they are, the more aggressive and predatory they are. So they actually perceive niceness as a red flag to like rip your throat off, basically. Because it's basically the wolf or the lion. You know, like uh, if, a, if a sheep, you know, if a lion sort of walks onto the, onto the field and a sheep tries to go up and give it a hug, you know, it's going to be pretty messy <laughs> because, you know, this, the lion's got to go as a free lunch. You know? <laughs> now, like if there's a, like an elder ram, you know, and you can't run, he's going to fight. You know, uh, he's going to go like, you know, if you try and take me for your dinner, you know, you're going to have a fight on your hand because I'm not going to let you have my neck that easily. And we'll, we'll, show, we'll show something like you can't... You, yeah, I know what the nature, I know you're not integrous, I know you're a predator. So I'm going to show, even though you might, the nature of the ram might be to, be, to is practicing, trying to be, is in a school for sainthood, uh, it's, it knows the appropriate thing at that time. And the loving thing for it, so it can be of service to others, is to show strength to the, to the lion, because otherwise it's just going to lose its life. So hence the, hence the thing of, this very important demarcation, if you don't know if a person is below integrity or not, uh, it's very important to find that out. And it doesn't mean not to love them, but in terms of do you say something? 
Uh, do you keep them as your friend? That's really, really important to, to know that. You, you'd get it with a muscle test, they'd go weak. Like, shall I make friends with Adolf and go to Germany and sort of spend the weekend with him? Like, what's my arm? Is that a good idea? I mean, it's like, like, no, well, I better go and show him how much I love him, you know? Is that a good idea? That, your arm will still go weak. And your intuition will be going, I don't think this is a good idea. But your head goes, well, I trust him. And yes, you should. I agree with the spiritual energy of loving Adolf and forgiving him. But in terms of the practicalities in this world, where everyone is not practicing A Course in Miracles, is they see the world very different. And you're not giving them, you're not helping them by giving them their food, mm. you see. So it's not loving. If I know someone is suffering from a donut addiction, and I say to them, like, hey, you know, I know you're staying with me, brother. Uh, I'm just going, I'm going away for the weekend. Uh, you know, how, I really love you, I just want you to know that as I go. And then leave my fridge full of donuts. I'm not actually helping <laughs> him, you know. I mean, he can't stop, He's, he is selfish. He, that's his nature. And he'll see me as being, oh, he's, this guy is so stupid, you know. And I have to eat those donuts. I can't not eat the donuts. You know, my nature is, I have to do that. So it's like, it's not, you know, you see it from a higher level. It's actually not loving not to say, look, I'm leaving you, but sorry, there's a padlock on, on the fridge, you know, or just to let you know, you know, or even this might be appropriate. Like if you, st if you break that padlock and steal my donuts, I'll have to ask you to leave. But it doesn't mean that you don't still love him, but that's the, the thing to do. So, uh, so sometimes, especially I think in the world of business and work, you know, uh, I, mean, okay, I mean, that's a whole topic, but that is, you know, if you have to know who you're dealing with. If you're and in, in business situation, works if you're, sometimes these companies, like most people are not in integrity. They're just out for their own selfish ends. And uh, if they can intimidate you, to, um, to get what they want, because that's what they learn, you know. Like when I was in, in various financial environments, you know, you will learn every single tactic to get money out of, you know, to make a sale, uh, to, to do it. And uh, if you just saw, uh, I mean, there's so many things, it's, gonna, it's not gonna sound good if I give a class on sales techniques and manipulation. But, uh, but, you know, and that, that's in certain areas of, of work and business and also management and manipulating people to get the maximum productivity. You know, there, there are certain techniques. And if, you, if, you don't, if you're not strong, you know, you're going to feel really ill pretty soon because uh, let me just love my manager. Oh, he, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, here's an extra workload for you to do. You know, and the other ones who look like they're going to, like, uh, you know, oh, well, if you do that again, I'm going to have to put in a formal complaint. You know, this is unreasonable workload. He's going to leave them alone. You know, and, and so, um, so it's, it's a very tricky question. In terms of, like, in, as a general thing, if I don't, I mean, I try and get as quickly as I'm able to. It takes time with people to find out, uh, and it sounds very black and white, but it is for me, is this person got integrity? Are they aiming to, be, to work on themselves and to, to eventually do the right thing, look at themselves and be integrous? Or are they in this world of, like, everything is just about me and how I can get things best for me? And if I know that they're that type of nature, then, you know, for me, the only language they understand is, like, boundaries, uh, looking after myself, or not, even not being friends with them. You know, because that's uh, that's the thing. And if you, that might sound like that's an unspiritual thing to say, but if you could check it out with muscle testing, you'll find like, you know, trying to be best friends with Adolf Hitler is not God's will. You know, um, it's like, um, so, yeah. And, and if, yeah. Um, if it's about a, a family member, that you said boundaries, and in the family there is a belief that family goes above everything else in your life and you have to be there for your family and I am perceived like someone who is uh, denying that thing. Oh, in, in a situation like that, you know, I would cancel the, the family belief 
Yeah, but they still have it because that's that's what is uh, our belief, and they would perceive me as someone who doesn't care about the family. Mm. Well, I would, I would, I would clear. First of all, I'd clear that belief and what they think of me in, in me, in me. Uh, and then I would. Everything is a context, and 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 uh, you know, either getting an intuitive read after you've cleared the belief, or if you've got spiritual advisors or people you can talk to. Because in certain contexts, you know, family for me often are, uh, I mean, it's not so easy to cut them out. So sometimes um, it is, they, in my case, it was like, I have to clear my stuff with them. Some people, like job situations that can change, friends that can change quite easily. Family, uh, you know, for me anyway, it was like, I, I, I want to do the clearing until they don't affect me. Uh, but even in doing the clearing, uh, it could be that taking periods of time to do spiritual work and being away from them might be the appropriate thing for a time, for, for a thing. And even if it, like when I started doing my spiritual work, uh, my, my mother particularly was very angry at me going to spiritual meetings, uh, you know, I was going to 12-step groups, I made quite a few threats about it if I didn't, you know, I had to stop and learn the, the Muslim religion and stop all of this stuff uh, and I continued to go and there was you know and there was a lot of fear around you know a huge conflict but I continued to go and then she saw that I got really well you know and that you know I was quite dysfunctional and in addiction and later it was like yay yeah, go and do your thing you know she doesn't know what it is she doesn't want to know what it is but she saw she saw her son become well mm -hmm. so um, so sometimes, you know, depending on where I am, I might need to take breaks or bring up huge conflict for a period while I, while I do things. And I think that can often happen, you know, with family, like when you start doing spiritual stuff, maybe breaks are needed. And also as you're doing spiritual work, they seem to get, they seem to get very antagonistic because you're now changing and they don't like the, the new dynamics. And that can be an initial period of, of, you know, in my relationship as she died, I told her I loved her, she told me she loved me, my father, you know, I look after him, uh, I love him. Uh, and uh, so, yeah. Thank you.